As reefs around the world suffer from one of the worst mass bleaching events on record, coral around one island nation is going relatively unscathed. I've been working in Palau for 20 years and the reefs have never looked healthier than they do now. Palau hasn't experienced a mass bleaching event since 1998, while the Great Barrier Reef has had at least seven in that period. Scientists say corals here appear to have a natural advantage in tolerating warmer ocean temperatures. Each tank that says I saw. Researchers have been selectively breeding heat-tolerant corals to maximise genetic diversity in the hope of using them to protect reefs against bleaching. We don't know. If we select, uh, we produce corals that are really uh, have a high heat tolerance, what happens if we outplant them on the reef? Do they survive? Do they grow? Um, what's going on next? 1,600 of these super corals have just been planted on the reef for the first time with funding from the Great Barrier Reef Foundation. If things go well, it's not science fiction to imagine a future where Palau's corals are transplanted on struggling reefs around the world. In July, scientists successfully crossbred corals from Honduras and Florida. Is it our selective breeding being the solution in the future to save coral reef? We know that we are not there yet. It is feasible. It's a lot of work, um, but we need more people doing this because we, we are running out of time. But coral experts agree that reducing emissions is the best way to stop climate change from killing reefs. I think that's really important that we don't greenwash these kind of methods and that we're very clear that this is going to give us a little bit more time. Hugo Hodge, ABC News.